Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to share your contents on Zoom and how to save an annotated document. To share a screen with the participants, you could click here, share a screen or all S. So you could select a window or the application that you want to share such as the desktop or the whiteboard or the iPhone slash iPad. I recommend using the PowerPoint the desktop or the whiteboard to share your screen. So I'll show you both desktop and the whiteboard. So you click here to share the desktop. And right here you still have your meeting functions on the top corner here. And right here you can annotate your screen for students to see. So with the mouse and select and the text drawing right here you have all the functions that are same exact as the whiteboard and right here is a save button for you to save your current image of your desktop screen that you're sharing and right here you could enable more options for you so you could so one thing unique about the desktop and the whiteboard is that you can enable annotations to be both for the host and the participants to annotate at the same time. So right here, I've already enabled the participants to enable the annotations. And one unique feature about the sharing your desktop is that you have the option to optimize your screen to enable um, video watching right here. So you can optimize share for full screen video clip. So I'm gonna stop sharing. So right here, you could check in the box to share your same computer sound, or you can same thing with the optimized for full screen video clip. And I'll demonstrate the whiteboard as well. So click here to share your whiteboard. And in the whiteboard, you can also draw and annotate, same as the desktop. And you could also save the image here as well. So you could. So I'll just save the whiteboard. And another unique feature about um, screen sharing is that you can also um, have access to the participants computer as well. So right here you see remote control. So I can give um, the control to a participant through right here. So right now it says waiting for the student to control your screen. So right now I have access to the host's screen right now using another computer. And you could also do the same with the students who are sharing their screen. You could also have access to their screen. So I can demonstrate that right now. So, so I'm gonna share a screen using the other computer. And I will share the whiteboard. So right now this is the student's whiteboard. And I will give myself a control. So right here I can click here start using the whiteboard. So it's really useful for you to have access both the host and the students. Um, sharing screen. Here is the advanced sharing options for sharing screen. So you click here to open the box and right here you could share have multiple participants to share simultaneously or you can have one participant to share at a time. I recommend using one participant at a time and you could also allow the options of who can only share. So for now I have either only hosts or all participants and you could also have the option of who can start sharing when someone else is sharing. So you want to set that as only host. Thanks for watching.